Care Ambulance has been a huge supporter of the West Virginia Breast Health Initiative for years. Today, they presented a $2,500 check to the organization that will benefit those battling breast cancer. A male survivor shares his emotional story with Newswatch reporter Jillian Risberg. It's been a roller coaster ride for 66 year old survivor Jeff Dempsey, who in 2021 was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer. I'd heard about breast cancer, I was totally clueless, so I started getting more and more information. It's a real battle and I would have actually want to encourage everyone or anyone that's suspicious of something growing in their chest to have it looked after. While it's not common and may not cross a guy's mind that he could become a patient himself, male breast cancer does happen, so it's important not to ignore any symptoms. Serving 55 counties, the West Virginia Breast Health Initiative is most proud of the fact that 100% of the money they raise here by people like Jan Care Ambulance will stay in the mountain state to help West Virginians. That help survivors get through their battles with breast cancer and through their diagnoses to help with patient navigation and transportation, getting groceries, all these different things that they need that uh it's not necessarily medically related. When first reaching out to places in West Virginia, Jeff was told he didn't qualify because he's a man. He initially had to leave the state for treatment. Because, you know, I wasn't getting the support or the help you know, in any way here. So when I actually went to UVA, um, Thank you. the West Virginia Breast Health Initiative followed me there. Uh, they gave me support. When someone like that that you don't even know calls you and offers help like that, it just takes the world off your shoulders. I mean, Jan Care's $2,500 check to the West Virginia Breast Health Initiative will make such a difference. Funds like this help us to help people that need transportation back and forth to treatment, people that have to travel long journeys, have to travel five days a week to get radiation or have to travel out of state to um, different facilities. As a breast cancer survivor himself, Jeff wants to help other men or women that encountered this same problem and to assure you you're not alone. It's a real satisfying thing for me to know that um, all the good people out there that I never knew existed came looking for me and that's where I am today. I'm still alive. <laughs> At Jan Care Ambulance in Beckley, Jillian Risberg for Newswatch.